I was hoping to beat the rush, but it turned out someone got here before me. I guess at least I'm next. Ooh, whoever's in there could use a few singing lessons. Can you sing, Lieutenant? No, not really. I used to play the guitar, though. That's splendid. I can only play on people's nerves. <laughs> so, how do you feel after your little race, Lieutenant? Just swell. Excellent. Earlier, you were talking about flying saucers. Indeed I was. You know my love of mysticism extends to everything supernatural. You're right. I can see how this ties into your line of work. Well, perhaps not directly. My work is based purely on illusion and misdirection. Even so, the mystery is every bit as intriguing as the science behind it. Excuse me, where does the line end? That would be with me, my good man. How long have you been standing here? It has been a fairly long time, yes. Listen, besides you and your friend, did you notice anyone else arrive last night? As far as I know, it was just me and Hinkus. I guess I'll go wait out in the foyer. For a nip, Lieutenant. Sure, I could eat. What would you like, Lieutenant? Coffee, tea, a sandwich? Could I get a caviar sandwich? With caviar? Well, just a moment. Do you need something, Lieutenant? Oh, um, no, as it turns out. Unless you've got a damn good reason, Moses is not to be disturbed! My mistake, then. Pardon me. Well, all right. I'll give you this one pass. 
But next time... Oh, Lieutenant Glebsky, come on in. Mr. Moses and I are discussing our little nighttime visits. Indeed we are. We can't let this go on forever. We need to do something. Police should investigate. What happened this time? Nothing new, actually. It's just that Mrs. Moses is convinced that someone keeps peeping through her window. Well, that's horrible. But what does it have to do with the police? Who else you should they should handle it? Certainly not Moses. Why, the very thought puts Moses on edge. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm adding to this discussion. I won't bother you further. Lieutenant Glebski, this is such a wonderful place. What? Right here? Or do you mean the hotel in general? Oh yes, the hotel too. It reminds me of our mansion in Rue de Chanel. So many paintings. I adore art, you know. Do you really? I'm astounded. Yes, though it's not perfect, of course. Back home we have a hundred servants and so many horses. How many stables do we have now? Hmm. So, you um, like animals? Oh, my husband's around somewhere. I hope you're not missing him. Not at all. So then, you do like animals? Oh, I so adore this. Tell me, Lieutenant, are you familiar with Count de Maldis? No, I haven't had the pleasure. He likes animals, too. What are you doing here, alone? I look at the plants and relax. Would you care for some company? Marvelous idea, Lieutenant. I was just going to look for my husband. Shall we search together? Oh no, my lady. I'm afraid I will have to leave you to that. All the best luck to you. Oh, it's you, the detective. Tell me... Do you know where they took the skier? I hope he didn't break anything. No injuries to speak of, as fortune would have it. That's good. So, Lieutenant, are you also out hunting for fresh air? More or less. The weather today is sort of... You wouldn't happen to have a drink on you? No, unfortunately. Pity. That's a real pity.
that sort. So the shower is vacant after all. So, Lieutenant, how do you like my iron horse? It's pretty amazing. They didn't build them like that back when I was your age. That's right. This baby is a beast on wheels. Yeah, by the way, someone was lying on my bed again. What's more, now my towel is all wet. It certainly sounds like a mystery. All right, well, it's time to feed Bucephalus now. You wouldn't have a cigarette on you. I can probably dig one up. Thank you. I think this leads to the basement. I think this leads to the basement. the lost mountaineer's jacket. The lost mountaineer's radio. My towel has gotten all soggy. I better dump it back in my room. I wonder who's behind this shower gag. Incidentally, Lieutenant, you were next in line. So I take it there was no one. More of the dead man's folly. Hmm. I looked around and saw that everyone was accounted for. So if it wasn't empty... Very shrewd, Peter.
Someone has been here. I better take a look around. 